Now that the sun is out after the storm, we're getting a full look at the extent of the damage here in Charlotte County, and there is a lot. I want you to look at this sign for this bank here, just plucked apart, toppled over, something we certainly expect in a storm this severe, but this is something we don't see in every storm here on the Sun Coast. Look at this sign on US 41. It just gave in to the immense strength of Hurricane Ian. It was definitely more intense than Hurricane Charlie and I was scared for my life, to be honest. Punta Gorda residents were roughing it during Hurricane Ian, and some woke up the next day to find their businesses were destroyed. Carrie's Interiors has been in town here for uh, 28 years, and uh, she's been in this particular location right after Charlie, actually. Yeah, 28 years, I wanted to make it to 30. <laughs> How much work do you think you have ahead of you? Carrie Nemec was going to retire after running her design studio for three decades on West Marion Avenue. But Ian's wrath is forcing her to close up shop early. Since the last hurricane in 04, we came here after that because it took my building up in Port Charlotte. Carrie wasn't the only shop to sustain damage. Every business on her block had broken windows, holes in the walls, or the ceiling caved in. Matt Nemec thought his house was spared until he did a thorough walk around his property. I went in the backyard and my boat was gone. I drove over uh, Interstate 75 to get here and I could see my boat upside down in the uh, harbor. All these things can be replaced, but the process will be quite the journey. It's emotional. That's all I can say. Yeah. <laughs> you put a lot of hard work into it. It's, it's sad and it's, um, you know, what do you do? You know, you just pick it up and you grind it out and you you know, start over. Reporting in Punta Gorda, Cynthia McLaughlin, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.